From the 6th to the 11th centuries, a powerful dynasty rose to prominence in northern India. They were the Gurjara Pratiharas, the valiant defenders against Arab invasions. For nearly three centuries, they safeguarded the heartland of India. Theirs is a story of military might, strategic alliances, and ultimately a cautionary tale of internal strife and external pressures that led to their decline. The Gurjara Prati Iharas emerged as a force to be reckoned with in the wake of the decline of the Gupta Empire. They established their dominance over a vast swathe of northern India, from present-day Gujarat in the west to Bihar in the east, and from the Himalayas in the north to the Vindhya Mountains in the south. Their rise marked a new era in Indian history. The origins of the Gurjara Pratiharas are shrouded in some mystery. Historians debate their exact lineage. Some theories suggest they were of Gurjara origin, while others propose a connection to the earlier Pratihara rulers. Regardless of their precise roots, their impact on Indian history is undeniable. They rose to power through a combination of military prowess and astute diplomacy. The early Gurjara Pratihara rulers, such as Nagabhata, Awasth and Vatsaraja, proved to be capable military leaders. They expanded their kingdom through a series of conquests, subjugating neighboring rulers and consolidating their hold over northern India. This period witnessed the establishment of their capital at Kanuj, a strategically important city in the Gangetic Plains. I was a formidable king who expanded the empire to its greatest extent. But alas, my death triggered a war of succession among my sons. However, the seeds of the Gurjara Pratihara decline were sown within their own empire. One of the most significant factors that contributed to their downfall was the lack of a clear succession system. This ambiguity often led to bitter power struggles among the royal princes. These internal conflicts weakened the empire from within, making it vulnerable to external threats. One of the most notable examples of such a succession crisis occurred after the death of the powerful ruler Mihira Bhoja. This internal strife weakened the empire and allowed their enemies to exploit the situation. The struggle for power among us, the royal princes, only served to weaken our great empire, leaving it exposed to our enemies. These internal conflicts made the empire vulnerable, setting the stage for its eventual decline. The central authority is weak. Now is the time for us to assert our independence and break free from the Gurjara Pratihara overlords. Adding to the Gurjara Pratihara woes was the growing ambition of their feudatories. As the central authority weakened due to internal conflicts, powerful feudatories, such as the Kalachuris in the west and the Chandelas in the east, saw an opportunity to assert their independence. They rebelled against the Gurjara Pratihara overlords, further fragmenting the empire. These rebellions, coupled with the ongoing succession disputes, drained the resources of the Gurjara Pratihara Empire. The once powerful empire found itself caught in a web of internal conflicts which significantly weakened its ability to defend itself from external threats. The stage was now set for the empire's enemies to strike. The southern threat clashes with the Rashtrakutas. The Gujara Pratiharas faced formidable enemies on multiple fronts. To the south, they were locked in a protracted conflict with the Rashtrakutas of the Deccan. The Rashtrakutas, under ambitious rulers like Dhruva Dharavarsha and Govinda III, harbored ambitions of expanding their own empire northwards. This brought them into direct conflict with the Gujara Pratiharas. The conflict between the Gujara Pratiharas and the Rashtrakutas was a clash of titans. Both empires commanded vast armies and were led by skilled military commanders. The battles between them were fierce and often indecisive, with neither side able to gain a decisive victory. However, these wars took a heavy toll on the resources and manpower of both empires. A battle for the centuries, Dharmapala versus Govinda III. One of the most famous clashes between the Gurjara Pratiharas and the Rashtrakutas took place during the reign of Dharmapala and Govinda III. The Battle of Kanauj, as it is known, was a pivotal moment in the history of both empires. Govinda III, a brilliant military strategist, led a daring raid into northern India, aiming to capture the symbolic city of Kanauj. Dharmapala, caught off guard by the swiftness of Govinda III's advance, was initially defeated. 
However, he regrouped his forces and with the help of his feudatories managed to drive back the Rashtrakuta army. While Dharmapala ultimately retained control of Kanauj, the battle significantly weakened the Gujara Pratihara Empire. The sword from the West Arab incursions into India. While the Gujara Pratiharas were embroiled in conflicts with the Rashtrakutas in the south, a new threat emerged from the west. The rise of Islam in the 7th century AD had led to the establishment of a vast Arab empire. The Arabs, driven by religious zeal and the lure of riches, began to expand their empire eastwards. This expansion brought them into conflict with the kingdoms of Western India, including the Gujara Pratiharas. The initial Arab incursions into India were met with fierce resistance from the local rulers. The Gujara Pratiharas, under their valiant ruler Nagabhata I, inflicted a crushing defeat on the Arab army led by Yunad at the Battle of Rajasthan. This victory earned Nagabhata I the title of the savior of Hindus and effectively halted the Arab advance into India for over a century. The storm from Ghazni Mahmud's devastating raids. However, the respite from Arab invasions was to be short-lived. In the late 10th century AD, a new power emerged in Central Asia, the Ghaznavids. Under their ambitious ruler Mahmud of Ghazni, the Ghaznavids launched a series of devastating raids into India. These raids were not aimed at territorial conquest, but rather at plundering the wealth of India's temples and cities. Mahmud of Ghazni's raids were a calamity for the Gurjara Pratihara Empire. The Ghaznavid army, known for its ferocity and military skill, repeatedly defeated the Gurjara Pratihara forces. Mahmud's raids targeted wealthy cities and temples, including the famed Somnath Temple in Gujarat. These raids not only resulted in the loss of immense wealth, but also dealt a blow to the morale of the Gurjara Pratihara Empire. A dynasty crumbles. The combined effects of internal and external pressures. The combined effects of internal strife and external invasions proved to be too much for the Gurjara Pratihara Empire to bear. The constant wars with the Rashtrakutas in the south and the devastating raids of Mahmud of Ghazni in the west drained their resources and manpower. The empire, once a formidable power in northern India, was now a shadow of its former self. The once loyal feudatories, sensing the weakness of the central authority, declared their independence. The empire fragmented into smaller kingdoms, each vying for power and control. The once mighty Gurjara Pratihara Empire, which had stood as a bulwark against external threats for centuries, was no more. The legacy of the Gurjara Pratiharas, a fractured empire. The fall of the Gurjara Pratihara Empire marked the end of an era in Indian history. Their decline created a power vacuum in northern India, paving the way for the rise of new kingdoms and dynasties. The Chandalas in central India, the Kalachuris in the west and the Charmanas, Chauhans in Rajasthan, all asserted their independence and established their own kingdoms. The fall of the Gurjara Pratiharas also had significant cultural and economic ramifications. Their patronage of art and literature came to an end, leading to a decline in cultural activities. The disruption of trade routes due to political instability adversely affected the economy. The once prosperous and vibrant empire was now a collection of fragmented states, each struggling for survival. Conclusion. Lessons from a fallen empire. The story of the Gujara Pratihara Empire is a reminder that even the mightiest of empires are not immune to decline. Their fall serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of internal strife, ambitious feudatories and the constant threat of external enemies. Their legacy lies in the lessons that their rise and fall offer to posterity. The Gurjara Pratiharas, the valiant guardians of the West, played a pivotal role in shaping the course of Indian history. Their empire, though short-lived, left an indelible mark on the cultural, political and military landscape of India. Their story is a reminder that empires, like stars, rise, shine brightly for a time and eventually fade away, leaving behind a legacy for future generations to ponder.